Previously on Spiral Knights. We finally arrived at the Haven here. And I'm actually in the advanced training hall right here. Freaking noob man. You're a noob man. <laughs> Remake Fana Conway's triangle face. Attempt to kill ourselves with a toothpick. Try to load out. Use another toothpick. Make fun of these freakishly tall dudes called strangers. And head down the elevator once again. Let's do it, mates. Alrighty. Hear that upbeat music? Give me a second to just get it in a little bit. Alright, so, that is a really good song. I don't care what anybody says, that is a really good song. So right here we have some construct and stuff like that. I should have actually equipped a, uh, a um, sword. So here I have um, Sintenza, uh, also I have, I have Polaris, and I have Final Flourish. Final Flourish is for these new enemies called the Wolvers. They are piercing and they're weak to piercing. Yeah, I don't get it either, but it kind of... It, kind of makes sense actually if you really think about it because they are mammals and if they get stabbed a lot then of course they're gonna die so yeah um, but as you can see this guy is strong against uh, piercing so that's what I bottle that's why that's one of the reasons why I bought Polaris on with four um, I will also be getting if you in case you're interested of the in case you were interested in getting these weapons, I will, uh, I will either have like little, um, uh, animations or little things like going on in the side and stuff like that. Uh, that explain how to get this weapon and stuff, like where you could find it, because you can't just get five star weapons just like that. Of course, you have to, um to pay for them. But you don't have to pay for them. I mean, the cheapest way to get a 5-star weapon is to make one. So, right here, we have a key. So I'm just going to bring that key over here. I'm going to let this guy take it. I'm going to open this gate over here. My, uh, energy. Let's walk through here. Let's take out this. So yeah, this room is full of danger. Um, I might actually take out Polaris and just like spam them. So as you can see, Polaris does a good amount of uh, damage. And as you can see right there, I barely took any damage. Like, seriously, I'm going to let them hit me. Like, 98 freaking damage. What the hell? So yeah, this is no pushover. You can also just use Sintenza if you're very, very impatient. But I use Polaris because um, Polaris is my favorite weapon. Yeah, like my favorite gun that is because it's not fast but it gets the job done and it keeps them and it keeps the enemies back and you don't really see that in uh, guns you see that in mostly like uh, swords for defense purposes for so for defense purposes this is a pretty good gun right, let's uh, dodge his attack that was weird See, as you can see, I'm doing freaking 8 whole damage right there, because that enemy is not, um, is strong against, uh, piercing. So, Construct ha Construct does have, uh, strength and weaknesses. Um, what their weakness would be, would be, um, open the gate, y'all. Jeez. <laughs> so, what their weakness would be, would the uh, piercing and it would be a uh, elemental because 
to keep I guess that does make logical sense because they are robots and if you pour something or burn them they should die I don't get why that's not the same thing for Wolvers though but no everything has to have their own thing so if you want you can destroy that grass and get more crowns but I'm not really in the mood unless these guys do it for me and besides uh, this place doesn't give that crown that many crowns anyway so we can keep going if we really do wish to uh, I'm so not looking forward to some of their other missions that's that's another reason why I chose this character because I'm really not looking to some of the other missions that I have to do in this game you can destroy that if we wish now, as you see here and that I, I meant to explain this when the music step when I um, interrupted the music but as you can see I have a new shield um, this shield the reason why I didn't equip my five star shield and I equipped it this shield is because this shield has damage bonus low um, and it's two star so if you have if you get enough money uh, then or crowns that is and you use it on energy then you can convert it into a uh, crystal energy and then you can buy recipes from the auction and you can just uh, make it from 2 star to 5 star it's like that so another thing so we have some chroma lists I never knew how to pronounce this uh, they are also weak to piercing they're one of the beasts in this game so there are construct there are beasts there are uh, um, I can't remember which other ones though on the top of my head. Hopefully I will. So, a lot of, well, my friends have been asking me, uh, I don't think anybody watched my other video yet. If not, I'll check, uh, in a couple of days, hopefully, because, you know what's funny? I recorded that episode, like, a week ago, and I'm just posting it. <laughs> So now I'm on like episode 4, I think this is episode 4, and you guys haven't seen like any of the good stuff yet. So let's just keep going. I think that's it. Is it? No. I probably will be uh, making that bristling busker throughout this uh, LP. Because that is actually really cool. And I have the Snarby set for it. I'll be getting info what a Snarby set is soon. But not right now, though, because uh, now is not the time to be gloating about my stuff. So now we have Skies Under the Castle, the Jelly Farm. Ooh, that sounds very reminiscent to jellies. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to take out my Acheron. Well, you know what? I'll take uh, I'll more than just one weapon, actually. So I'll have Acheron equipped. And I will have I'll have my final floor equipped as my fourth weapon. And Grand Foss will be my uh, I'm gonna drag it instead. There we go. And I'll just switch this list like that. Um, you can't edit your, uh. You can't, like, take items out of your arsenal and stuff. But, what you can do is that you can, um. Change your weapons from here. You can change the order of where you, uh. You, um. Like your spin cycle is. So, as, um. The text said, this is, uh. Um, it says um, enemies that are that are uh, uh, jellies. Damn, it took forever for me to say that. So we have construct, we have beasts, and we have jellies. So that was uh, a pond. I can't. Oh god, I can't even remember the name. Hopefully, there'll be enemies here that I could say. So here we have a jelly cube, not the same thing though. Uh, jelly cubes are a bit faster. So I know I, ha I remember having a kind of a tough time with uh, 
it was either jellies or um, jelly cube, like jelly cubes in like later difficulties, or was something else. So you, as you can see here, um, Acheron is a default sword slasher and stuff. It's also uh, Grand Faust here. Grand Faust, it does it's just slashes like that. So yeah. Grand Foss is a little more is a little different from Atron than you really think it is. Because if I charge here, as you can see it does a five range it, it does a five uh, blast charge. If I charge uh, Grand Faust, it's actually more powerful too. Now sometimes it will cause you uh um what's it called? Uh curse but not all the time so that's why some people don't recommend using it because it can get you into really sticky situations if you lose it if you use it a lot that's why some by some people it's not recommended but also also for another another reason why it's not recommended because recommended is because it takes a long time to charge see I got a um, you know it there. Also, you can also choose. You can also charge in tens. I'll show you what that really does. I love this. It shot. It shoots like five, five um, bullets, and then shoots like a giant bird. I didn't get to show it off there, but check this out. Boom, 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 boom. If you can get that really close, it does a crap load of damage, and they, they can, they can die almost in one hit too. But they won't because I have party members with me, sadly. Um, I'm thinking of always being with party members, not because this game is hard or anything, but because no, I want to get, I want you guys to get the feeling that I'm not playing this game alone. That you could play it, you could play it with uh, other people too. Play it with your friends. Play it with your um, acquaintances, I guess. You can make new friends online, you know, just like any other MMO game. So that's another reason why I'm trying to let's play it. Whoa, I just got hit. And that was just like nothing compared to what the actual damage could do on you. So I wouldn't. Say, oh, Brennan said this, you know, and he lied because when he got hit, he didn't take that much damage. So I'm gonna try it in tire two or tire three. Don't do that. You will die. Seriously. You can also use dash to get out the way. I'm not really using dash for some reason. This is weird because I always use dash. Uh, I will um, think of using it more often because dash is actually really, really good, really, 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 really good for getting through enemies and stuff. I'm trying to shoot these. Why can't I shoot these down? Oh, that's weird. Alright. So if you're, you could slash the shrubs if you're really uh, greedy for crowns. But now let's just go to the next area. Let's just step on this party switch. That can also be kind of annoying waiting for your party members if you're really in a rush to a move. Because wow, I'm on 28 minutes already. Um, might end this episode after this. So the missions will get longer. And longer and longer. So yeah. Oh, let's pick up that. Let's uh, shoot that down. Um, let's shoot this down. And we could charge the rest of the time if we want to. Also, what's kind of cool is that they never um, look to patch this. If you uh, shield bass or jump like this, the gate closes and you get stuck right here. Not forever though, it's just that you're out here and not on the gate and you, you don't get that moving down animation. So I always thought that was really cool how you could jump out. Uh, so yeah, we got 927 crowns right there. And if you scroll further down, you can see all the mats and uh, all the materials and the... Uh, I just said that. And the minerals, there we go, that you've collected. So if you want, you can go ahead and get those if you wish. But I think it's going to be this for, I think it's going to be, uh,
pretty much that for this episode, guys, because I'm on... I think this has been a long episode already. I'm sorry that there was nothing really good in this episode at all, because uh, we had all that block of text. Um, I might actually just uh, slightly pause it. Like, I would just wait two seconds, then go, because it takes so long to actually read the damn text. It's horrifying. Um, so, I ha I don't think I've actually shown this part of town, so I'll just use another minute to show you guys this part of the town. So here we have Brinks, Cosma, and we have an alchemy machine. We already know what the alchemy machine does, I already explained that. So, since I'm in this character now, I explained that in the last episode, but since I'm in this character now, uh, I have a bunch of weapons that I can create right here. Uh, I've already created every single one except this. It's called the Valance. Uh, the Valance is actually pretty good now because that extra boost. I see a lot of people use it in LD and it actually does a lot of damage. So I'll be looking forward to getting that. However, I won't be using CE now. I'll use it later because I'm, kind of, I'm trying to c conserve my um, CE and Mist because I want to get all this done and I don't and I'm kind of curious in if this actually is enough for me to run through the entire thing. So yeah. Right here we also have um, the token trader. What the token trader does is that he would give you um, he would give you like uh, when you collect tokens from your various adventures. Uh, you can come here and you could trade these tokens in for mats and even like armor and stuff like that. I mean, like, you can get five star stuff right here, too, for 30. Fang and Vog, all this stuff except the Blackened Crest isn't really good. Um, I'm getting into the why the Black Crest is so good, why I'm like overgloating it. Because it is actually really cool. Um,. All these other stuff is not important except the spine cone, which I'll actually be getting right now. Let's check that out. So that's for the Snarby set that I was uh, previously talking about, and I keep on saying that it's not important. <laughs> uh, so there's nothing really good here. Um, what am I talking about? There's also the catatizer, there's the pulsar, there's the static capulicular. I can't pronounce that. So that's a quick silver helm, quick male helm. Um, there's a whole bunch of these uh, weapons that you can achieve. There's also these. So here we have the brute jelly helm, brute jelly male, brute jelly shield. But now we have jelly glue too, if you wanted to create uh, something else. But now you also have the sealed sword in an Antiga. The Antiga and the sealed sword are what the GF and the, uh, which is the Grand Faust that I pulled up earlier, which is this little weapon right here. And you also have the Sentenza, which was based on the Antiga. So I think that was pretty, that's pretty cool that you have to have other weapons to get better weapons. You could just upgrade them instead of getting new ones all the time. I think that's pretty cool. Um, Cosma? No, not Cosma. I forgot the girl's name or whatever she is. Or whatever he is. Um, You can get different shields from here as well. But this doesn't have any uh, damage bonus or anything like that. I don't prefer... I don't suggest getting stuff from here because it's really expensive. And then you can just go to the auction to get the same thing for like 200, co 200 crowns. So I wouldn't recommend buying stuff from these guys. Uh, sorry guys, I don't recommend it. So here you have your punch guns, you have your blades, but as I said, not recommended. Uh, I'm running on 45 minutes. Um, also, talk to Bosco if you want. I just figured out. I broke Naya. You need energy, Papa. Energy. That was what. That was what. In the thing. I love this little text right here. You know what makes me go? 
this world makes round? Do you know what powers your suit? Do you know what allows these elevators to take this world? Us the world below? Energy! That's right, my friend! Sometimes something special is worth shouting about. Want to know this superior important subject? I happen to know an expert on the series. Clearly I should really know about this. Tell me more. No thanks. I am content of not knowing such an amazing thing. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Oh, that's so funny. You're not, you don't see that mu You don't see that every day of your life. Like that, those little funny you know, lines and stuff. Yeah, oh, God. Also, here, I think I mentioned this before. You can't, like, sell your items at the bazaar. No, you can't sell your items at the bazaar, but you can't sell them at the auction, I mean, because they're bound to you. So, what you can do here... I'll just show you an example of this. You can click a weapon, right? I actually can't click that weapon because that's uh, bound to you by force. Um, just like the proto sword is, and I have two proto swords. I don't know why. Um, so you could uh, unbind this for 400 energy if you want, but then that restarts your level, so you could sell it if you really want to. Um, as you saw there, I actually had a, uh, re a, um, yellow glowy thingy. Those are called ooves. That's an oove right there. That's a unique variant. Now, unique variants can give you different weapon upgrades and such. So, what you could do is that you could keep, um, you can keep trying to get, what some people do is they keep trying to get variants like, um, attack speed increase and... Um, uh, what else do they try to get? Control, whatever, I forgot what it's called. Um, uh, CTR, which is, a uh, center control, I forgot what it's called. Oh, oh yeah, 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 uh, charge reduction, uh, charge time reduction, that's what it's called. And damage bonus and so on. So, make of that what you will. It's kind of a waste of time though, I don't really recommend that unless you have everything and you have a lot of money then um, go for it. Oh, I thought his name was Mr. Boobs. How was that allowed? So I guess that is it guys, I mean this episode has been extremely long so far. I mean I attempted to stop at 30 minutes but it turned out to be like 37. So in the next episode we will continue with our mission log all the way down here the next episode we will do the Scarlet Fortress that sounds interesting we'll skip this mission because there's nothing really awesome about that it's talking in this one and there is nothing in this one so yeah see you guys this has been Brennan 11 I'll see you guys next time Tutas.